new comic book day. The last new comic book day before Christmas. We're over here checking everything out. Everyone's looking at the Catwoman. It's the only copy they got in this week. The one in 50. Oh, looks like it's going home with you, huh? <laughs> it is a very nice one. Very cool. The foil cover. Here's the regular, like, trade stock cover. I was waiting for someone to snag it. You can see there's the mistletoe one. You have Spawn. They did just get in a new Spawn collection, so we're going to look at that in a little bit. Once we're done with the books over here, I'll show you guys. I found some really cool stuff. Sarah's going to get mad at me probably, but it's Christmas. You can't get too mad, right? We got Eve. This issue three. And then I, someone was saying this is the final issue of Firefly. So they have these... I wonder what's in here. It almost makes you want to buy it sometimes. <laughs> Just to find out what's in there. In the poly bag. The spawn. Art group. It's always falling over. Let me do it like that. Boom. And then the new alien. These alien covers are always super nice. You got issue four. Cover A and B. Good morning, everybody. Hope you guys have a wonderful holiday with your family, whoever you guys are spending it with. Thank you so much to uh, everybody that's been hanging out with us all year. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content. We got a lot of fun stuff coming to the channel next year. What do we got over here? Batman? This is the new, I think this is number one, right? No, book two. I love these variants right here, like the set. Look at that. That's sick. Like the 90s cover. The Joker one is really cool. Is this a... Oh, wait a sec. Oh, I thought it was a wraparound for a second or something. <laughs> Never mind. What's up? Hello. Hey, box. Oh, look at that one, too. That one's pretty sick. With the Joker. Whenever you get Batman and Joker on the same cover, it's killer. World's finest. That they've oh, that's a really fun one too. Was because of this. Oh, was because of the Crisis, crisis cover. cover. Yeah. Very cool. Which is Perez. Um, lots which of is Batman. Perez and then Suke doing the Harley. DC. Comedy. Lots of DC yeah. this week. The new Catwoman came out. We got Zatanna. It looks like. Um, Batman vs. Robin. Yeah, that's the other. What else we got down here? Lots of DC. We got Flash, Green Lantern. Yeah, that's what I say. That's, that's, the, cool that's the big one this week. This one right here, Dawn of DC, Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths number seven. Oh wow, I didn't realize there's like a million different covers. Yep. They're all here. like different variants. Pick your this, pick your team. And then look, this is the main one that's gonna be a hot cover. I'm gonna recommend that right now. This is your cover pick of the week. Yep. Very cool. Double sided. Oh, there you go. I like Trigon on the top. That's yeah. sick. George Perez tribute. That is very cool. And then there's a fall cover, but that one's going to be like good luck because it's already going over $300 for that one. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? Yep. I just saw it in one store. $500, they have it offered online. I don't know. It's varying. Some, some of them go for crazy money. Ghost Planet. The new G.I. Joe, issue 300. There's the one in 10. Uh, this cover. Retailer incentive. This cover, but it's a foil variant. Mm, he likes that one. It is a cool one. You got we got a big stack there. Yeah, well, that's because it's mostly all the dark crisis this week, and then of course I'm picking up Star Girl: The Lost Children, which is another, which has been a pretty oh, interesting series. Oh, that's a series. fun cover. Yeah, that's the variant. So this is the regular cover, right here for this week. Very cool. It's your two of six limited series. Yep, and then of course the two Catwomans, which I knew you got earlier, which is the oh, Batman, yeah, Catwoman, of course, that one. And then the homage cover. And then this one was last week. I figured this was last week because I figured I picked it up only because, like I said, it, it's a it's a crisis homage cover. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'll You're pick it DC up. You're a big DC fan, huh? Oh yeah. Hey, what are you doing for? Uh... What is this? Biden's, Biden's Titans. Titans? What is that? That's funny. Probably, like I said, in the, in, I'm sure it's like a one shot and defendant book, I bet. Those are usually, you, get always, you always get something presidential wise. So. Huh. Interesting. There's, what is it, three different covers? Yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah. That's pretty. It's <laughs> pretty funny. You got the Dracula werewolf. What else we got? Yeah, here's the. Batman Superman mashup. Yeah, I know I have it. Dark like, Crisis. 
I was gonna set up and we ended up like I guess I took them off. Oh, look at the night one. That one's cool, too. Yeah, that's that's actually this one. E, it's a 1 in 100. So they have a 1 in 50. Yeah, this, it's actually this cover. But that's the flow variant of it, the 1 in 100. That is pretty sick. Well, like I said, the, the other one is, you know, like I said, the other the other really hot one, again, was this one. Christmas Joker cover. Yeah. But as a fall cover, and I think it's like 1 in either 1 in 100 or 1 in 500, so it's like really expensive. Yeah, 1 in 500. Those get pretty pricey, especially the day of the release. I know. I know that issue was like, five, like I said, I saw it online in one place, and they've already got it at 500. For that book, so a lot of money for a variant, right? Yeah, man, these that. these covers are pretty cool. I, they're on the uh, final issue of the limited series on DC Vampires All Out War. I like that Deathstroke cover. You got Berserker 11. Hmm. Yeah, DC Vampires cover, is pretty right? cool, of what I've heard. So. The foil, they always got to do the foil covers on Berserker, right? Yeah, you have two different foils, and then a one in 10, one in 50. Than Vampire Slayer. Mm. And of course, if there's anybody who's a G.I. Joe fan, you got the last one over there, which was the variant cover that came out a few weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, 300, in right? Terms of a retailer, so. You got the spawn mashup on the And then, of course, of the biggest shocker was this week Hasbro canceling on the special 300 issue that they were going to do. Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear. Any, I didn't know they were yeah. doing a co like, um, special. They were going to sell. They were selling a special Nerf gun that on both one side was G.I. Joe marked. And the other side was marked as Cobra. And as part of that exclusive, I think it was like for $80, as part of that exclusive, you were going to get an exclusive cover for G.I. Joe issue 300. Oh, wow. But uh, apparently they decided to cancel it this week because I was looking online and several people who pre-ordered it said their orders were canceled. That's not cool, huh? <laughs> yeah. Right before Christmas? That's no fun. <laughs> well, it wasn't scheduled to come out till like about February or March anyways. These death dealers are so, sick, too. Yeah. I love these death dealer covers. Oh, no. Spanos would have been happy. And gun honey. It's, it's a little bit of a light week for sure. Let me show you guys. They got some new stuff on the wall over here. This on the wall? Before I... Uh, before I go to the other side, I love this Thanos cover. You got the Perez classic. That one's pretty cool too. The Joker. I had to wear breads for you, in honor. And then in honor, I'll show you guys what I ended up picking up off the wall, or what I think I'm gonna pick up. I still gotta look through the rest of the uh, their spawn stuff. Can I get it last week? I'll show you guys what I mean. They just got like a huge new collection, and but we'll go through the rest of these new comic book day books. These fair, I hate Fairyland covers are sick. There's so many of them too. My favorite one is probably this one that would spawn. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out today. Hope you guys have a wonderful new comic book day. Have a wonderful holiday with your family. And just stay safe, and we'll see you guys on a new video on Friday. It's from the uh, sale we had over the weekend. Really fun. I wasn't able to get a whole bunch of footage, but um, the video came out pretty cool. This one's... these night. I don't know. This cover is sick with Nightwing. That might be my favorite. With Spawn and Nightwing. But these foils are cool, too. The 1 in 100. Mandalorian, one in 50. Oh, that one's cool. $76. Some more spawn. The Witcher. No more Henry Cavill on Witcher, huh? It's going over to Warhammer, I heard. That'll be interesting. I never got into, like, Warhammer. You got Ninja Funk. Coming out with their different covers. Nightmares. And then this is the Invincible Iron Man. I don't know. This might be from last week. I'm not sure. Which one? The Invincible Iron Man? Yeah, because they, they didn't get in the variants last week. So those yeah. are like three of the variants. The only one they're missing is the first part of a six... Um, six cover mini poster of sorts that's supposed to spotlight all the Bob Layton armors. 
Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Let me see. There's a bunch of those, huh? Let me see if I can get a picture from last week. This is another fun cover right here, too. No, no, no. Just in time for Christmas. That's not Yeah, they're all, well, pretty much I think like DC decided for December to do like all their uh, variants as Christmas style covers. Because you had to learn everything. Learn that. Oh, yeah, this is the new Resident <laughs> Evil that came out. I forgot yeah, about that. I love Resident <laughs> Evil. I'm trying to pick up some covers for Sarah. A little surprise for um, Christmas. Throw them in the stocking or something, you know? I got distracted with the spawn that came in. You guys are seeing a little bit. Lady Hell. Chaos Comics. Dynamite. Issue four. Yeah, then we got Savage Tales. I want, I want that yeah. and this, this Hello, everyone. Yeah, yeah, this is the one from last week I was talking about. That's the latent connecting oh, variant. Yeah. That was from last week. <laughs> that, if you get like the, I think it's like the first five or six issues together, it's like one big mini poster. Oh, because, that's sick. Well, the thing is, like, if you if you're on Facebook and you look up Bob Layton on Facebook, he actually had a picture posted on there. This is nice right here. For 10 bucks, what do you guys think? I want to find one to get to Sarah. Oh, this is cool too, the foil cover. When something's killing the children, number 27. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's regular cover price. Oh, and then you got Vanish. That one? Kind of looks like a Kira a little bit. That's the, that's the younger one? The older one. <laughs> that's the one you're Vampirella. I might come back and grab this one in 10 for for Sarah. But let me show you guys, all right? I got distracted. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. It's a little chilly over here, so I had to put my flannel on. <laughs> let me show you guys what I found, though. This is thanks, man. I appreciate stuff you don't that. find too often if you're a Spawn fan. I'm spend the walking. Don't touch my books, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you wish these were yours. He <laughs> wishes. Look what I found, guys. The best part about that joke is you've seen my books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wanted to see uh, you Look at that. The reaction. Uh, what my credit was looking like. 298. Got another one for five. Have a nice set right there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right, yeah. And then I found this for 30. They just got them in. They're definitely pricier books, but if you're looking for some spawn, then look at this one for 70. It's such a nice copy. And you have it. On 265 super little print run, and then look at that. Very expensive book. Lowest print run spawn. And then I was coming over here looking through them, and there's just a bunch of them everywhere. But I had to grab this cover right here for Sarah, the handcuff one. Beautiful book. So yeah, I'm just going to go through. You can keep looking later. No pressure. No pressure. So yeah, we're just going to go through. And I figure end the video off here. If you guys don't want to watch me dig through spawn books. <laughs> but look what they just grabbed. I looked on the wall. I don't know. Sometimes I lose connection when I'm back here. But I'm over here on the back wall. And they had them just kind of sitting up here. And then I was asking Larry if he got new ones in. And look what I found. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder if I could set you guys up. Because I got you on the high tripod here. Oh, look. This will be fun. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see if this works, huh? Oh, look at that. Perfect. That's pretty cool. So look at these spawns they got. When did they start their lowest print run? Um, I know that there's 240, 241. Oops, just dropped that right out of my hand. <laughs> Part one. This is a cool one, too. The J. Scott Campbell cover. I need a bunch of these for my personal collection. Look at that one, 270. 294. They're pretty pricey, but if you're looking for some, ooh, 294 for six bucks. I need that one. 
Maybe I'll put that one to the side. See, and then some of them, we got 293 for 25. 15 bucks on 288. Oh, that one's sick. It's a nice copy, too. Maybe we'll put one that, that to the side. I definitely got to choose which one I want to take home because Sarah would kill me. I would love to grab this whole box. <laughs> Cover one of eight on 286 for $10. Put that one to the side. Sometimes I, I gotta admit I'm not super familiar with these. Two eighty five for six bucks. I'll probably take that one too. And I guess I'll put it right there for now. Yeah, two forty one is the second lowest, and a bunch in the two thirties. Two eighty four. Man, these six dollar price tags are hard to pass up, especially on nice copies like this. Twenty. Man, God, I love Spawn. I like when they started doing these kinds of covers, but they're definitely not as... They're definitely not as nice as the McFarlane covers. Oh, that one's cool for 20 on 272 Man, 35 bucks. Two sixty eight. Oh, there you go. They got two sixty seven. It's like a whole consecutive run here. Spawn. It goes all the way back too. All the way down. Ooh, that one's cool. <laughs> Eric Larson. Very cool. Well, I think I'm gonna get out of here and dig through some of these. Figure out what I need for the PC. I hope you guys enjoyed this new comic book day. It was a little bit of a light week for sure. I think the only thing I'm really going to pick up is this one. 256 for 16. I got 20 bucks right here. Very cool book. All right, everybody. I got to go. I got to look at some stuff. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That's what I thought. All right, let me flip it around. Boom. This new tripod's pretty cool. I like how I could just, like, set you guys up. All right, so thank you, guys. <laughs> really quickly, have a wonderful holiday, and we will see you on Friday. A new YouTube video is from the sale. Let me ask you and your husband. Um, I'm the husband. My wife's not here, but you may ask us anything. Just leave a comment down below, and we'll answer it for you. <laughs> thank you, guys, all right? We will uh, see you, like I said, on Friday. A new YouTube video. We're going to be live on Whatnot tomorrow with some cool stuff from the sale we had at the house. I pretty much just got everything out, and we're just running a bunch of cool stuff. And that's pretty much it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe and take care.